everybody, it's me Charlotte and I am super excited about today's video. I'm going to try to teach you guys how to create your own textured knit pattern or something like this. If you can see, I don't know how well the camera is picking up, but I have a heart here, I have an X, an L, part of an O, um, part of an O, I didn't finish it, sorry. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this and it's really easy and it's fun. Um, beginner friendly because all it is is knit and purl stitches and all you need is a piece of graph paper and a pencil. If you don't have graph paper you can go online they have PDFs of graph paper you can print like print, printable graph paper. Um, if you don't have access to a printer you can always take notebook paper and make your own graph paper there's always a way I know we are crafty we will figure it out if you don't have graph paper I know you can figure it out um, but that's all you need before we jump into today's video though I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel um, thank you for liking sharing and commenting on my videos it helps me out tremendously and I really do appreciate it guys um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you would like to follow me on Facebook, I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's really fun. Well, I think it's fun anyway. Um, like I said, graph paper and pencil. Pencils in case you make a mistake, you can erase it. Which, if you can see, I don't know if my camera can pick it up or not. But I've made a few mistakes. But that's okay. Alright, um... What you're looking at is a piece of graph paper, obviously. Um, it's got 38 little squares going across. Um, I recommend scarf or even dishcloth or washcloth um, to start out with to make your own design. Um, and how in my head I do it is I think of each one of these little squares here as stitches. So in this case, I have 38 stitches. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's how I calculate it in my head and you draw your design like I said it can be hearts I have an X an O more hearts you can do letters but please keep in mind that if you do letters make them backwards on here so if you were to do an L you would do like you would do your L backwards because if you don't do your L backwards it will be backwards when you go to put it in the knitting pattern. So please learn from my mistakes and make letters backwards. Um, now the one thing that's different about this chart or graph is that it only shows the purl side. So you're only looking at directions for the purl side or the wrong side. All the right side rows is just going to be knit across. So you don't even have to kind of write that down or remember it or chart it or anything because right side rows is just knit straight across. This is your purl directions. This is the wrong side row directions. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that in mind, you just make your designs. Last night it was so cute. I, my son took a piece of graph paper and made a bunch of designs. And I'm actually going to try to knit that one up later today just to see what it turns out to be but that's an idea you can have your child your grandchild um, make you a design and then you can knit up their creation they might think that's really super fun um, okay like I said this is only directions for the pearl side what I mean by that is I'm going to show you really fast I'm gonna do a really quick example of like this heart of what I mean and this square since I'm only paying attention to this square, I'm going to pretend like this is my whole piece here. And it's 15 stitches across, or 15 little blocks across. So I'm only going to cast on 15. But if I was doing the whole page, I would cast on 38. But I'm only doing this, so I'm only going to cast on 15. And I'm not going to do the whole design because that would take long and you guys would probably get bored and no one wants to be bored. I know I don't like being bored and sometimes I watch videos and I fast forward through them because they're boring 
and I don't ever want anyone to fast forward through my videos, but I know you probably do because I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have my 15 cast on. The first row, I'm just going to knit across, but it's your design. You guys can do however you want. Like, that's the beauty of it. You just make a design and you follow the directions, keeping in mind that all the right side rows are just knit across. And if you guys do try this out, I would really love to see what you guys come up with. If you follow me on Facebook, you can post your pictures there and I can look at them. I can even share them with the other people that follow me on Facebook. I think it would be super fun. Um, but I would love to see what you guys create and come up with. I find that entertaining. I love to see other people's creations. Okay, so I knit the first row across. Now I'm going to start my, my, my graph or my design or my pattern that I've created. In this case, I have an X here and the X's represent your purl stitches. So, and everything else is just knit stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna knit seven, purl one, and then knit the rest. So, you guys have to watch me knit for a minute. I'm sorry. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to purl one and then knit the rest. And I'm sorry if my needles are making that horrific scraping against one another sound. I know some people don't like that and I'm sorry. Okay, so I've done this row here. So you can always cross that out. The next row is going to be a right side row. It does it not represent it here on this graph. So all you want to do is knit across. All stitches get knit. And I know this is so fun, right? Please don't skip forward. Oh, you can if you want. <laughs> I probably would. No one wants to be bored. Just get to it already. Okay. All right. Next row is going to be a wrong side row, so I'm going to refer to my little chart that I've made. And I've already done this one, so I'm up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to knit six, purl three, and knit the rest. So, I'm going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I said I was gonna purl three. So purl three. One, two, three, and then knit the rest. Turn it over. I'm on a right side row. I can cross this one out if I want because we just finished it. Now I'm on a right side row, so I'm just going to knit across. And isn't this fun? I'm really sorry, guys. I think you guys are so bored just watching me knit. Da da da, boring. Anyways, okay, so I knit across. I'm back to a purl side or wrong side row, so I'm gonna refer to my chart here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to knit five, and then I'm going to purl one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna purl five and then knit the rest. So it's knit five, purl five, knit the remaining. And you can even write this stuff down, too, if you would rather, you know, want to refer to a written pattern 
Okay, so I'm going to knit five. I'm going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to knit the rest. Come back over here. I'm on a right side row, but I'm going to go ahead and cross off that row I just did. I'm on a right side row, so that's not represented here, so I'm just going to knit across. All stitches. And I'm not going to do this whole thing, guys, because I personally think you guys are probably all really super bored by now. But I'll show you what it looks like if you keep going. Okay, you can kind of start to see the little bottom half of our little heart starting to emerge. If you keep going in this way, your heart's going to look like that. And like I said, this is just a small sample. Here's an X. I don't know if you can really see that well. Here's an L. That's where I learned that you need to make your L's or your letters backwards on your graph paper if you want them to come out correctly on your knitted fabric. And here's part of an O. Started running out of yarn, so I gave up on the O. But that's how you do it, guys. Um, remember, you can make any design you want. Um, letters go backwards. This is only your purl side or your wrong side of your work. You only refer to this when you're doing the wrong side rows. Um, and that's all I can think of to tell you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I did a good enough job explaining it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And here's something different. I'm running a little experiment. I want to see how many people actually watch all the way to the end of my videos. If you've made it this far, please leave the word heart in the comments below. I just want to see how many people watch my videos to the very end. Um, and that's it, guys. Until next time, I hope you all have a super fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye, guys.